And this picture is before the retouching, I believe. But all the manual adjustment is applied to. And this is Jmoons. And if you take out all the adjustments, do you notice from here versus this one, anyone or Jmoon, that there is some image loss after your adjustment. This is the full image. It needs some tonal and color adjustments, but, and then you did a good job now, but after you do this, what's the difference from here to here? I'm going to actually go closer to that versus that. Anyone? Don't you see anything? Or no? It's lost color where? Uh, around the bush. Around here. This is a highlight area. This is a really challenging picture, by the way. This is a challenging picture because they're in the shade, and then there is a really bright sunlight. So if you expose for the sunlight, then they'll be shaded. If you expose for the shaded area, which you did, then you lose the highlight area. So that one, that after you do this, this needs to be maybe brought back. And then I would like to go one by one by showing and hiding each adjustment and then see which one actually lost is causing the loss of the tones and that is actually a labels if i hide the labels then that information comes back but if i enable the labels then it be becomes really bright so what you need to do is to go into labels adjustment layer and notice that if you just create the adjustment layer, like click to create the adjustment layer, right? Then it creates the adjustment layer with mask automatically, by the way. I'm going to get rid of this, not to confuse myself. So you have a mask already made, but it's all white. So adjustment of this Labels is applied to entire picture. I just would like to hide one part so that everywhere else but this area has the labels adjustment applied to. I'll go to labels mask. I click onto the mask so that the mask is highlighted. Brush tool. I'll get the brush tool. White reveals black hide. I would like to hide the part of this adjustment, this area, so that the information that I lost comes back. I have black brush. I probably should have the opacity or flow lower. And then I will start to brush it. You could also select it though, right? With the you can select it too, but, right, yeah. But I kind of ha like this organic <laughs> way of brushing it. So now, The information is back, and my mask looks like that. Actually, I, I probably should just kind of go ahead and brush it, but yep, all the information that was gone is back. That is a labels adjustments, 
and hide that highlight area so that it's not so bright. Okay? What do you think? It's pretty useful, right? Any questions so far? Is it better to do um, every time you do adjustments to a different layer? If you are dealing with different areas, mm -hmm. you are dealing with different tonalities, mm -hmm. so it's probably better to have the different a layer designated for certain areas. Yeah. All right. Maybe one more thing, and then we'll have a little bit of the work time.